Welcome to the new site, my outer space, and uh, all the planets are starting to come together with the ships. I Excellent. guess I guess we're going to be the kind of uh, art and special effect type planet. So yes, so it'll be a gathering place for folks that are wanting to meet people like that or find jobs according to so what are you going you, on are, will you in your role will you be looking for talent oh exactly there's always that call for stuff like that uh i'll get calls for jobs that i don't know how to do them in that particular program so basically we'll just just put the call on hey we're looking for guys that can illustrate in in uh whatever program you're looking for maya what have you and uh, put the word out people can apply for it and off you go Usually, I'll go by what the writers have to say in their script, or the producers. They'll say, we want this ship to be big and ominous. We want it to be fast or sleek. Mm. And uh, for like the Star Trek universe, there's mm. kind of like a blueprint of how things need to look. So you have a very yes. small window of approval to go through. So everything kind of follows through that. Like if it's an Enterprise, you got four main parts you have to work with, the two engines, the body, and the, and the saucer. So you're trying to rearrange something that's already been rearranged several times. If it's like a uh, different, sci-fi show it mm -hmm. just it just goes on what type the uh, uh mood they're trying to put out if it's like gonna be a grungy mine planet mm -hmm. it's gonna be a heavily detailed ship with all kinds of little pipes and stuff like that if it's a sleeker world it's gonna be a sleeker kind of design and and may i ask are these designed on a, a specific uh, program uh i always do hands-on illustration i could draw better that way to keep current i'm trying to learn new programs photoshop and illustrator and and uh rhino but in particular, I'll do the drawings in pencil, I'll do the finish coloring in Photoshop. And uh, the first Starship I ever did was for a movie called Night Flyers. It was based on a samurai war helmet and uh, put engines on it, painted it black. And that was the very first one, that was 1986. I actually had quite a few mentors. I uh, grew up in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, very, very far from the science fiction world that I was a fan of. And I was a huge fan of Robert McCall, who actually be a local Arizona science fiction artist. Um, Ron Cobb, another mm. science fiction artist. Joe Johnston, huge fan of those guys from books. And I used to bother all the effects houses, Apogee and Boss. Mm. At least every two months, I'd bring a new drawing or picture. I'd read Cinefix magazine, and you get people's names. So mm -hmm. I'd use their names. I'd go in and, and ask to meet them. And most, most of them were pretty gracious let me come in. They'd show them drawings, and finally Apogee was one summer, and they were painting latex in a giant dinosaur, and it was hot outside. And they go, oh, would you mind painting latex in the dinosaur skin outside? It's pretty hot. And I go, it's not hot here. Mm. This is actually Arizona winter. Mm. <laughs> so got my first job that way, painting, Excellent. painting skin in a dinosaur okay. mold. Then okay. from there we went to Vader's from Mars, Toby Hooper's movie, and Top Gun all at the same time. So. Yep. First two movies. Fantastic. Good times. That's a nice way to enter into the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it'd be a great opportunity to do that, to kind of pay back what I've gone through and what I've learned. And um, what's been kind of fun is I started a blog about a year ago, and a lot of people write on there with basically the same questions I used to call people and ask people I was inspired by. So it's kind of fun to have that world turn around and be able to uh, help other young artists and stuff kind of. Mm -hmm. Learn the ways of things, and it's great to give advice and stuff. And not that I have a lot to, to give it except share kind of personal experience, but um, it, it's kind of nice to see that come around that way. And uh, I'd love to pass on anything I know to anyone that would want to know it. So. Uh, I actually just finished the restoration of the Nostromo, the huge model from Alien. Uh, primarily, I do art department stuff, but my uh, introduction to the movie business was model shop. And so the very first company I worked for, Apogee Effects, is now Grant McEwen Design. And so they brought me in to help kind of finish up the details of the Nostromo. So for those that don't know, it's the gigantic miniature built in England for uh, Ridley Scott's Alien. Huge, huge model. It did, kind of dilapidated out in the weather for mm. 30 years. Mm. Uh, Prop Store London found it, dug it out, brought it over, and we spent mm, probably a year and a half restoring it. And uh, it's immaculate now. It looks just like it did in the film. Have you any other messages for the uh, citizens of my outer space? Uh, like I said, welcome again. It's great to be a part of the, the project and uh, all the hosts, Sammy and William Shatter, all the gang, Shield Brothers, it's great. This is Bizbark signing off. My pleasure. <whistles>